For more than half a century, U.S. power in Asia has rested on the alliance system that Washington built in the years after World War II. Now, a dispute between Japan and South Korea, the two most important pillars of that system, threatens to undo decades of progress. In fact there is a raging trade war ongoing between two key U.S. allies, namely Japan and South Korea, but the U.S. media seems to ignore it all, the trade dispute has widened into a full-blown relationship crisis, and the shadow of World War II hangs over it all. For months now, South Korea and Japan are embroiled in a bitter trade war that could have consequences for a global economy that is already suffering from another trade war between the U.S. and China. And in an escalation, South Korea removed Japan from its list of most trusted trading partners, the latest sign of unraveling ties between two U.S. allies mired in a series of disputes. Not only that but the three-year-old security treaty between U.S. and these two key allies is under threat as South Korea terminates intelligence-sharing pact with Japan with relations hit new low. The possible termination of the military information-sharing pact between South Korea and Japan would be a symbolic victory for China, a security analyst has warned. Recent tension between the two countries threatened to spill over into the sphere of intelligence after Seoul signaled that it may pull out of the General Security of Military Information Agreement GSOMIA, pact. The agreement signed in 2016 enables three-way intelligence gathering between the U.S. and its two allies and provides a crucial framework for coping with North Korea's nuclear and missile threats. But the escalating trade dispute between Seoul and Tokyo, prompted by a dispute about Japan's colonial legacy, has left the future of the deal in jeopardy as the annual deadline for its renewal looms. Japan's foreign minister said that Tokyo strongly protested against South Korea's decision, calling the move extremely regrettable. But while Washington is sleeping through the Japanese-Korean dispute, China isn't. Instead of seeking to actively mediate between its allies, Washington has largely watched from the sidelines, leaving the field to China, which has moved quickly to benefit from U.S. inaction. At a trilateral summit with the Japanese and South Korean foreign ministers in late August, for instance, China encouraged the two sides to at least put aside their differences long enough to make progress on a trilateral trade deal. Despite both countries being close allies of the U.S., the Trump administration has done little to alleviate the tension. And the few attempts that have been made, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo tried to facilitate a reconciliation last week, have had little success. The Trump administration has failed to establish a sense of alliance in the region. Part of this is the attention on all the other crises the U.S. is currently embroiled in, and part is because President Donald Trump simply does not care enough. This trade dispute is a losing battle for everyone involved. South Korea is one of Japan's most active trade partners, and the instability in their relationship will cause both economic and national security problems. Like many countries that engage in trade wars, though, they might not care, for now, at least, because of the deeply rooted emotions the conflict stems from. The escalating dispute between Japan and South Korea is another major trade headache, particularly for the world's manufacturers of mobile phones. With feelings running very deep, this may prove as difficult to resolve as the issues between America and China. The two key U.S. allies in Northeast Asia are at loggerheads, not with China or North Korea but with each other. Since the beginning of July, when Japan restricted exports of critical materials used in South Korea's high-tech industry, the two countries have waged an escalating war of words. The latest escalation came as South Korea ended a critical intelligence-sharing agreement with Japan. If it gets worse, the trade spat could end up permanently harming relations, as well as disrupting the global smartphone industry right on the verge of the long-awaited rollout of fifth-generation mobile technology. By ignoring this trade war America is pushing the whole Southeast Asia right into China's arms. Cambodia just recently moved closer to China and pulled back from the US. South Korea has been changing how they approach North Korea and it has been upsetting the US who wants rigidity and hostility. South Korea was seeking cooperation and some acceptance. Slowly, but surely, South Korea is severing its ties with the West. This is a step on the road to complete Korean reunification and joining the Asian superpowers of China and Russia in the brave new world of post-US sovereignty. The globalists may even try to start a war among the regional players, as they've done it before. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.